Create the axle part. Click New. From the Advanced tab, click Part. Click OK. Click Options from the top of the main menu. Select the Document Properties tab. ANSI is the overall drafting standard. Click Units. Select IPS for inch pound seconds. You can also work in millimeter gram seconds. Units are presented in the text in both inches and millimeters. Select 3 for the number of decimal places. Select None for the overall angle number of decimal places. Click OK. Right click on the front plane. Click Sketch. Click Circle. Click the origin and drag outward and to the right. Click Smart Dimension. Click the circumference of the circle. Click a position diagonally to the right. Enter .188 for dimension. Click the Features tab. Click Extruded Boss Base. Select Midplane for the direction option. Enter 1.375 for depth. Click OK, the green check mark from the Boss Extrude Property Manager. Press the F key to fit the model to the graphics window. Select the small drop-down arrow Click Save As. Browse to your Documents Library folder. Right-click and select New Folder. Create the folder SOLIDWORKS Tutorial. All your model files will be in this folder. Double-click on SOLIDWORKS Tutorial. Now your path is on Documents SOLIDWORKS Tutorial. For the file name, enter Axel. Axel is a part. The file extension is SLD-PRT. Enter Axel Rod for description. Click Save. Axel appears at the top of the Feature Manager. Right-click on the Axel icon. Click Appearances. Click Edit Color, the small square color swatch. Select Light Blue for color. Click OK. From the Heads Up View toolbar, Expand View Orientation. Select the front. Select the right. Select the top. You can select four views, one view, return to an isometric view. You can use your middle mouse button to zoom. If you have a wheel, rotate the wheel. Holding the wheel will cause you to rotate your model. You can also use the shortcut icons on the top of the Heads Up View toolbar. Zoom to fit, zoom to area by windowing in around a particular part of geometry, and the previous view. By pressing the space bar, you can bring up any of the views or create new views. Return to an isometric view, press the F key to fit the model to the graphics window, click Save.